my spring summer collection for 2019. This is where I do the designing that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, welcome to my channel. If you're new to the channel, hello, I'm Colleen G. Lee and on this channel I do how-to sewing techniques, refashioning of old or new clothing and I also do a fashion lookbook where I design my collection, make the pattern and then sew it and then show it off to you. And if you're interested in that sort of thing, consider subscribing and let's get started. So I'm going to show you the process that I sometimes go through in order to design my collection of clothing that I do twice a year. Um, the spring summer one for 2019 is going to be four outfits and uh, one of the outfits has got three pieces to it. So I'm going to show you my roughly what I go through, one of the processes that I use in order to get inspiration and get ideas. So that's what I'm going to show you and also the fabrics. So let's get started. So here is my little inspiration book. I, I do have a few. So what I do when I'm stuck for ideas, I just look through um, some magazine tears that I have and I do little drawings um, turn that way. And I just kind of get inspiration from what I see there, from clothing and objects. So that's what I use sometimes. So the next thing I then do is start doing some drawings. So this is what I'll be designing and drafting and sewing for spring summer 2019. So I've showed you the fabrics already, but I'll just show you the fabrics, which one I'm going to be using for each one of these fabrics. So let's start with this one here. So I'm going to be making like a tulip, a tunic style here. Um, and I'm going to hand draft this. So I'm not making a pattern, I'm just going to draft it freehand. And um, I have a t-shirt that I made some time ago from this so I'm glad when I'll be using all of that I'm literally going to be using all of it and also the same with this print as well so the white is going to be underneath and this one is going to be on top and it should look something like this where it's going to be asymmetrical and it's going to be off one shoulder so that's what I'm going to be making out of those knits the next is going to be this oatmeal colour. Now I do have some pants that I've made out of this that I've worn a few times with um, a couple of knitwear so as you can see. So I'm hoping to make another asymmetrical style of garment like a top and I'm also going to do some uh, sleeves that are split sleeve, sleeve detailing and I also want it to be a little bit flared towards the wrist because that will here's my pants so here are my pants and my pants are, are slightly flared so like I said I've worn it a few times so it'll be going with that so that will be something else that I know I will definitely be making up so I'm going to use as much as fabric as possible so that's going to be that style now for the blouse, for this one, this white one, I'm going to make in this blouse detail. So the emphasis is going to be on the sleeves. So we've got these kind of like bell-shaped sleeve, bishop style sleeves. And because it's a pretty firm fabric and it's see-through, so I'll be wearing a white camisole. Um, I was kind of wanting to have a collar in, in there on it, but I don't want to be putting any interface in it because I just like the transparency of it. Um, but I will play about, if there's enough, I'll have a go and play around. But if not, then it's just going to be a round neck. And I want to have a nice tie to it as well. So that should really look really pretty, really nice. The 
The next one is going to be this lovely lemon. And I am going to be making a pair of pants. And they're going to be quite flared pants. Um, it's going to be have a faced waistline, waistband, and the top is going to be something like this. So it's going to be a, like a, a raglan sleeve shaping and I'm wanting to capture this kind of shape that's happening here. So that's going to be in this. And finally, I was supposed to make this last year but I didn't get around to doing it. I'm going to be making like a, like a mat, like a, yeah, it's going to be a, <laughs> a coat, a coat style inspiration for this. Um, it's just pretty, it's just a really pretty fabric and I just want to experiment with it. So hopefully it's going to work. I'm not sure because I've never made a coat out of like very sheer fabric. So just have some fun. So that is what I'm going to be making for 2019 spring summer now this is episode two and what i will do is i'll link episode one in the description and i just basically talk about the fabrics so as you can see i've shown you my designs how i get my inspirations and the fabrics that i'll be making with each one of the little sketches that i've done there and the following one is going to be where i the next episode which will be episode three i will be which one should i start I'm going to go with the easy one, so I'm going to go with the with the knits, um, the white and the pink. I'll start with that first. I'm going to draft that freehand so you see that process, and then I'll move on to the next one, which will probably be the, the long oatmeal top. So stay tuned for the rest of the series, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Please do share, and I 